so you can read the case and discuss in the group of four to five people actually you have already read the case just discuss what is the problem and how to get out of it please yeah i was go just going through the story of the baso it is not just story of the basu only many of the entrepreneurs who do business just on the excitement are with only dreams with no plans with no strategies with no market uh, segment identification most of us will do similar business and we remain in business for years and years and at one point of time we will find that business is not working and we go on blaming every other segment except uh, mm -hmm. the promoter Uh, the one point which I, here I could really make out is with Basu. I'm with Basu is, so he's the whole thing. He was determined to be in business. No. The one plus point. Okay, that is personal. If you take up the business as a whole, uh, so as only one thing, he has got good quality machineries, which can fabricate a good almera. That is the only plus point he has got in this business. Apart from that, there is no other plus point. Mm. So, as far the questions are concerned, what mistake Basu committed? So, except for the, his, he, he has intended to do the business. Apart from that, he never had any strategy. Most of the things, whatever he has done, is mistakes only. Then the okay. concept, Mr. Basu, <coughs> was uh, operating. Yeah, no. Just you summarize uh, yeah. what happened. the events small uh, summarization of the case oh, sorry uh, small summarization of the case actually question we can discuss one by one story. Yeah. story of the case the story of the case you know instead of going to deeper into case by case if i see the events like what is he is going is he is going without any direction without without any policy or without any strategy as and when it comes he goes on doing goes on borrowing then doing something else and changing over the strategies and the basic mistake what it did is he wanted to be he has given a product which is uh, equivalent to godrej or best brand but he has uh, no strategy to put himself in that segment to build such a brand he requires huge amount of money it is not only the product which builds the brand okay. so brand building exercise he has never done he has understood is not understood that's where the problem has started that's why he was unable to sell because his pricing was in that range quality was in that range but the branding was not there oh. so from there he started he could not sell then he went to other business or he accepted some other order then he struck a, a deal with somebody else that did not materialize then he goes on borrowing so now he is asking for a bailout plan or a marketing strategy so for this i don't suggest any marketing strategy if at all he want to do the marketing strategy he has to restrategize the entire business business plan that is one thing the second thing is the for that he has to bring the required funding and the expertise expertise for what so expertise to build the brand build a brand yeah because his only thing is uh, quality have seen here is he can deliver a good quality almera so are the third thing or other thing what he can do is he has to approach the best brand like godrej or uh, the other brand which has been mentioned here and is he he can take the outsourcing of the job and he can supply them and for that he need to again he need to have the required strategy and the funding without that if he does again he will get into one more problem i think this is the summary what i could uh, so what concept he is working he was operating yeah, production uh, is uh, con yes, basically concept. focusing only on production not on marketing not marketing its product mm -hmm. is entirely 
Uh, when I say concept, I, I mean to uh, ask you, I, we discussed four concepts in the morning. One was production concept, uh, it second was, was product, product concept, concept. Second, uh, third was selling concept <coughs> and fourth was marketing concept. It was the product concept. Yes, not the product concept. Product concept. So predominantly he was working on product concept. He was obsessed with the quality product he wanted to produce. Uh, rather than obsessed with who is his customer, who is going to buy and what a customer is going to buy. So many of us actually go by like this actually. This is a typical case and the true story of a small business because we are enthusiastic about our product, our idea and somehow we lose track of who will buy, what is the value of our product to the target customer or who will buy actually and what is the value of our offering to that customer. We fail to assess that actually. It is not that he, this product is not good, one of the excellent products per se, but is he able to communicate? Like he says he should build a brand. How many of you can put money to build a brand actually? Small business, you know, easily, easy to advise but difficult to implement. So practical problem, all practical problems. Can he build a brand? How? If yes, how? How much investment? So many questions. What is the time frame? So product concept, very true. So what should he have done? So there are many things he, sh he could have done this, he could have done that. So what could he have done actually? If I say he, he was, he is marketing oriented. So how? So what difference it could have made? Being marketing oriented, if you are Mr. Basu and you are marketing oriented now, what will you do? Like one aspect I could identify is uh, the lack of output, uh, say, to the distributors. I mean, uh, in initially the distributors were, uh, you know, unwilling to take his product and sell it, probably because they had better margins on other options and a better brand on other options. So he could have as well priced his product on par with a gold rich and then offered the additional entire additional price to the distributor who will then be making better margins when compared to say a gold rich. So that will uh, that will be an additional incentive to uh, you know get his uh, you know whatever product into the showrooms and then put them on par with the leading uh, product so that he gets that initial traction going and the business running okay. even though he does not uh, uh, you know, make a huge uh, you know benefits out of it. That will just at least keep it running and uh, product some uh, create some visibility in the market. Slowly build some brand value. Okay, you agree with him? Yes. I feel. Uh, but do you think that any distributor will like to keep the equivalent product? Uh, because Godrej has a brand pool. You know, people know the brand and they will be ready to pay some price. Why should people pay the same price to Rhino, even if the distributor pushes? Sir, the very concept of... Uh, Will you pay, actually? I'm just asking you as a consumer. If Godrej is charging 10,000 rupees for an Elmira, and there's an equal Rhino Elmira, 10,000 rupees, will you pay for it? Even if the distributor pursues? Of people who would actually consider, I don't know how, how will the conversion be? But then, uh, once there is a, once you know that the distributor has got an incentive to sell this, he'll start establishing the comparison between a Godrej Almara and a Renault Almara. Okay. And probably out of ten, uh -huh. there, I, I can't give you a figure, but there might be good uh, chances of a conversion in that case. How many of us uh, go to uh, this one? See, most of the consumer decisions are taken on the spot when you are actually buying a decision. It's it's up to the salesperson and the distributor who is trying to convince you. I mean, okay. there is good chance if your distributor is saying, see, <coughs> I am the distributor, I will tell you that the steel used in this is this, the quality of paint is this, the, you know, all the qualities, all the physical features and then show a physical demonstration of all the security things. And then you say, Reno is a new brand with a good quality. I mean, definitely there should be some conversion. Okay. I can't give you figures around it, but I believe so. Okay. The point, uh, we are missing one critical point here. Yeah. Uh, the point is, uh, if it is Godrej versus... Uh, like Samsung or any other brand which is similar to that scale, mm. then I will listen to what uh, 
the dealer is saying right if the brands are equal right if the brand is not equal right i am forced to go with my conviction rather than the dealer conviction okay and my first doubt will come what is he getting out of this right he must be getting something out so of this. there the moment i find yeah. figure it out I will definitely tell others don't buy. Right, right. The dealer right. is getting more right. money. Yeah, thing is, yeah. It will yeah. be the brand. Yeah. Rather than uh, raising. Uh, right. Also, we today's competitive world, there are large number of dealers. Uh, if a if a person is buying something, do not get a brand in a showroom. He will move to another showroom. So the distributor will lose his customer after. Right. Um, that thing. So these are the dangers. Yeah. No, but didn't didn't LG in the recent past do the same thing in terms of brand creation, especially in the Indian market? Nobody had heard of LG right. ten year ten years ago in the Indian market to counter what you are talking about. Take the same LG ten years ago. We nobody knew LG, right. and yeah. the same thing with Hyundai. Yeah. Who knew Hyundai cars in India ten years ago, twelve years ago? Nobody knew Hyundai. Yeah. See. But that the brand creation, the the incentive they did to the dealerships was what sold those uh, products in the market. I think you know, it's it is. The dealer education, the incentivizing the dealer, is your end sales point. But as an activity to make that, as a manufacturer, I need to go and educate my dealership network and give them the right tools to go and convince the customer. Yeah, I think that that is what is missing in the case of case. LG and the Hyundai. The case is different actually. These brands are globally known, and this Mr. Basu brand is made up made by him only. And they have financially, they were LG was sound, and Mr. Yeah. Basu is uh, not right now financially not that much capable uh, to build a brand. Also, uh, you know, uh, among Indians, there is a craze for foreign products. Yeah. You know, means if you go in market and you know there are two brands. Okay, if there is Indica and Santro, you know, people uh, let's say nobody has heard of Indica or Santro. Okay, the person will say, "Arey means uh, it's Indian car. Uh, you know, I don't want it." Okay, means so even uh, you know. Global ma uh, brands do make yeah. an impact mm -hmm. on Indian consumers. So. Uh, in this case, if we talk about the uh, awareness level of the uh, purchaser or consumer, end consumer, we can say it is very low. If you talk about me or the many customers, uh, if you see, they are not aware about the costing about this Almiraz or this type of products. And these type of consumers particularly believe more in the seller or the distributor, what the distributor says. And uh, whenever uh, we have to purchase these type of products, any family, they will first prefer uh, the distributor with he, with whom they have good rapport or uh, relationship, old relationship. And whatever he suggests, they will buy that. Okay. That is the case. Even though the distributor says that this Godrej costs three thousand rupees, even though it costs two thousand rupees in the next showroom, okay, I will believe that this uh, it costs three thousand rupees. And if he says that Reno is costing two two uh, thousand five hundred, and still it has better quality, I will buy Reno. Okay. It all it all depends upon the recommendation of that seller or distributor in the in these types of uh, products particularly. Yeah. Yeah. And when what we are discussing about this LG and Samsung. See, in the uh, the consumers or buyers of these products are uh, elite uh, peoples, having awareness. They are having uh, good knowledge. They are they are regularly watching televisions and like these things. So they know they they can compare the products of their own. Right. While the consumers of these type of uh, consumer durables or like Almira, Almiras, furnitures, they don't believe in their advertisements. Right. And particularly, if you ask me. Uh, I would like to uh, state that uh, that Godrej, yeah, uh, only due to brand I have to pay more. It is not that due to quality I am paying more. So that uh, all that thing is always in my mind. So I will okay. always prefer the other brand, and which is better in quality than Godrej or other thing. Okay, at uh, lower price. Yeah. Now my question is, uh, just as a consumer. Why will you believe in a distributor and a retailer? Uh, on why why will you believe him that he is telling you right thing? Okay, again this is one. Second is why will you believe him to a retailer of Almira? Because he is the one who will, uh, you will approach when there is a problem. What problem can come in Almira? 
it can be it can be manufacturing defect you know it can be anything it, it's a painting that's got spoiled okay uh, that's the reason he's got more influencing power for example <coughs> these uh, computer peripherals that you sell there can be ma any ma lot number of brands people who are educated techno savvy they'll buy their own say dell or uh, sony or whatever but when it comes to uh, normal sme smb they would go to a, a tech support guy who is reachable okay. and whatever he sells whatever he supports or whatever he suggests will be the one that will be sold there okay because when there whenever there is a problem he'll take the responsibility right. of uh, getting it done and uh, uh, particularly uh, sale of these types of products happen within some uh, limited periphery we will not go to uh, delhi or hyderabad to buy some almira or that right, right. Uh, okay yeah uh, we we want somebody to provide service after sales service after that so we will definitely uh, depend upon the person who is nearer okay, to us okay, and also okay. dearer to us. Yeah, agreed. Uh, my take here is you will believe a distributor or retailer only when you are not able to evaluate a product. Yeah. To some extent. Uh, an if I am able to evaluate the quality of an Elmira, I will not trust my any retailer. Yeah. Definitely. They don't rather buy uh, Renault in that case. Right. One, th one thing probably. Yeah, one, one thing probably the Reno uh, could do here. Yeah. Uh, you know, when a customer comes to the you know store and uh, you know comes to know that the pr prices are the same, but one is Godrej and one is Reno, he can't trust on uh, the major contention that he would have is the quality of Reno, because you know the shopkeeper is saying it, but he doesn't have any you know assurances uh, you know on either front on any front. So probably one thing that could be done is to. Uh, provide probably a, a warranty which is on par with Godrej or maybe even superior so that that will give him the confidence that boss you know if you buy this tomorrow if there is a problem I'll do it for you do it uh, to you for free okay so yeah that, that will give the confidence to them agreed, this agreed, is a quality agreed, product agreed, agreed. Yeah. but uh, reaching to a good distributor and selling again was the issue uh, with Mr. Basu he again could not do yeah yeah looking at uh, the uh, product value mapping if we look at it uh, the products right now mr basu is offering they are not fitting anywhere right if he can make a distinction the economy becomes the economy and the premium becomes premium then right. he might be able to uh, increase volume at both the places and then take care of the overall costing absolutely uh, in his case uh, that's what i suppose because godrej is selling at 2300 right and right now he is talking only about 1800 or 1900 rupees right so there is a premium which is available which he can build on Right. And uh, re Reno economy can go towards the elite matching uh, cost right. cutting uh, so as to match the pricing there. So you could not communicate the value. So you can you can build a value, you can create a value, but if you don't communicate a value, it will not sell. So marketing concept, marketing takes care of this communication also. The marketing say you have to communicate when we say the definition of marketing is creating communication and delivery. So it's not creating a good software, creating a good product, but how do you communicate that and deliver that? That is also a big issue, and that marketing thinking can do it. There is one. Yeah, you are all right actually. Many things, but do you think uh, what should Mr. Basu do immediately? Mr. Basu immediately should come, uh, it, we should realize that Elite is doing good business as far as the case study shows mm. that 20 to 30 with 4 resources he is able to do 20 to 30 sales. This shows that the consumer is very sensitive to price, pricing. So 1500, 20, 30 uh, almaras are being sold. So immediately there is a sink cost. He's, these are all done finished products. He, there is no point in debating about how, how much should be the cost I should sell. First, reduce the price to 1500. The quality is anyways better than Elite. So liquidate the inventory? Not liquidate because at a reduced uh, price, yeah. the, the immediate thing, there is an immediate, mm -hmm. short term and long term, three solutions. Yeah. Immediate, he should uh, reduce the... Uh, uh, price to elite price okay. because the quality is better th there would be uh, inventory moving forward the ball starts rolling once the ball starts rolling he should short term should be to re reduce the uh, to play with the variables to, and bring the cost of production to equivalent to co elite uh, no, no, no. immediately means today tomorrow today cost of production is something that is short term i'm saying yeah no immediately what should he do should clear he off should reduce the price to 1500 
light. A light. Means segmentation, we need to. No, no, compete is another thing. Immediately means I need to do immediately. <coughs> no, no, I immediately, immediately, immediately liquidate his inventory, sell his inventory. Yeah, immediately, yeah, 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 immediately, you need to rent a smaller premises near city. Yeah, still, immediate, still that will take some time to do. Na. Immediately, immediately, with the help of bank, you should uh, sell off the products on yeah. installment basis. Okay. So, it may, see, to get your business running, you have to be liquid actually. So, immediately, you have to become some liquid. Now, long term, probably say rent premises or not, long term issues, they, those are little immediately to um, short term to long term issues. So, that we can discuss. But my take here is, my understanding here is, given the type of product the Almira is, which customer is not able to, what is the quality of good, uh, quality of a good Almira? The gauge, how do you judge the quality of an Almira? Gauge. gauge. Can any customer judge the gauge? No. No. Yes. How? No. By knocking. By knocking the seat. So, what will you understand by knocking? Not everybody can do. Few people can do. You are right. Right. That's not uh, set percent uh, reliable. Yeah, but mean some some good engineer. <coughs> they have sold the Almera of 18 yeah. sheet in the name, of, but actually, if you are measuring with a slip gauge, actually the thickness of the sheet. No, is nobody good. measures with the gauge and all yeah, that. Yeah, no. like that. Generally, generally, so people doing this. Thing, okay. After knocking this Almera, and the one sound is coming. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Thing, that is what the distributor actually the retailer will tell you to measure. Actually, he will do that. Yes. He'll say, "Is this? Like this? Look, what will happen?" So that method he has devised. <laughs> just think, just think of it. Ah, he knows where to knock. So I mean, so Mr. Basu, like he said, he he should make a brand. Absolutely, he should make a brand. But how to make a brand without investment? The only way here probably was through distributor or through retailer. Probably he might have to give more margins, more money to push his product. Now, what should be price? Should it be a premium as Godrej? Should it be elite or should it be a low, uh, you know, level? That is a debatable. But one thing is sure, he cannot command premium as compared to Godrej. Because Godrej commands premium because of the brand which has built over the years. And brand building takes some time. Brand connotes trust of consumers in that. Like a simple example, if I take off this label and these are the two bottles, how much you will pay for this label, bottle without label? Will you drink this water? No. Will you trust this? Yes. yes. If I ask you to buy, how much you will ready to pay for this and without this? Just think. One and ten. One and ten. So, ten ru nine rupees is for the brand. I ask this gentleman. One said, I will not drink this water. Even if you pay me 10 rupees, I will not drink. So, this is the value the brand has actually. That is a trust, brand trust. And that takes some time. Once few people will buy the Almira, the positive word of mouth will spread. Then the brand will be built. Before that, he cannot command the same premium as Godrej. Few customers may buy. I am not saying. There will be few customers whom the distributor will convince and they still buy. But not the desired level of customer will buy, you know, there is difference. If you want 10 customer to buy, they will not buy, maybe 3, 4 will buy. So, you will not achieve that objective. It is not that nobody will buy, somebody will buy. So, two things, one, distributor, retailer can build the brand. Number two, how? how to control, how to manage, that is a separate issue altogether and that you have to see. You, you can build a brand through a retailer, through a distributor. How Nirma was built? They did not advertise initially. You know the Karsan Bhai story. So, the, he started with the cycle. Nirma was supposed to be a wholesale brand. It was pushed by wholesalers in the market. No advertisement, nothing, initially. So, once he got positive cash inflows, he started advertising. Similarly, 
uh, another brand like uh, Ghadi detergent. It is very popular brand in UP and other areas. Now it is spreading its way. Same thing, same way. It is giving run for their money to Nirma as well as uh, Wheel. Many, many brands they start from scratch and then they build up. And not through advertisement only, but through distributor, through channel, positive, once the positive word of mouth spreads, it builds on. That is how a brand is built. It is not only through advertisement. Advertisement is a very costly affair. So this is one. So he could have built with some time. Now you can identify this problem as segmentation problem also. He confused his customer. He confused the right type of product or the right type of segment. Whether he wanted premium products for some segment or high value products for some segment. So that that you can also relate what should he do now should he select his segments carefully and supply immediately he has to uh, get some liquid cash so no question about it no discussion reduce price sell through the distributor whatever uh, price it is long term what should he do what are the options yeah, i i just was uh, thinking and while you're talking sorry to interrupt in that See, when you're saying communicating value, as you discussed all the points here, it comes down to 40 almaras he has and he doesn't want to reduce his price because he will make losses. So what, uh, in order to do that, his average price has to be 1600, but initially he has to go down to as low as 1400 to compete with uh, Elite. He sells and the quality, uh, the value or uh, word of mouth happens. After that point, he raises his price back to uh, 1700 or 1600 yeah. and averages it out to that point. That could be a marketing strategy in terms of communicating value. But with 40 Alimaras, do you think that kind of brand effect will happen? See, 40 Alimaras, what brand effect will happen? See, yeah. he, he, he has no time to think of these effects actually. Yeah. He has to get some cash, repay to bank, get some material for further production actually. Think from that his business point of view. You, anybody will do like that actually, you know, rather than thinking of some strategy, immediate strategy. Uh, I think uh, you know uh, for long term strategy, like uh, he hasn't identified his market segment. Okay, like if you uh, consider the customers who are buying, so it's like uh, families. Uh, okay, who buy it, and uh, there are offices. Uh, who also require them okay so now since he is uh, very keen on quality okay so uh, what i feel is uh, he has totally uh, missed the segment of uh, families okay who want a uh, low edge uh, means uh, cost effective brand okay so what he can do is uh, con uh, completely cut off that economy uh, thing of his Okay, and manufacture only a premium. So, you know, he is creating a niche segment for himself. Okay, and uh, target only people who want niche segment. Okay, now uh, this way he is reaching the end consum uh, consumer. Okay, means uh, he is skipping the uh, middle chain. Okay, and uh, since his brand is niche, okay, so he has to reach uh, on his own a few people and he is... Uh, means uh, probability is more of selling those things to those people in good number so that can be his long term plan okay uh, to instead of cut off the middleman chain and directly reach to his target consumer and focus on only one line of uh, production okay means uh, you know, he should stop that economy line of production so so you have the options as uh, premium right Premium segment? Yeah. What else? And uh, reach directly to the uh, consumer. Direct to consumer. Okay, how do you do sell direct mirrors to consumers? Uh, see, uh, like a lot of offices uh, put up tenders uh, for... Industry, B2B basically. Yeah. Uh, B2B. So in that case, uh, you know, means uh, suppose uh, for a month, you know, he is uh, proposing tenders to, uh, let's yeah, say, yeah, 10 yeah, people. Uh, he, yeah. he might get an order for at least... One so B2B, in B2B, it is not only offices, it is defense also, it is huh, whatever, government also. Whatever, whatever. not, not so the uh, uh, segmented market, okay, now uh, means the families, okay, now he is uh, only... Premium segment, you are talking households? Uh, 
No, no, this is industrial, like right, B2B. No, absolutely. Any other option? He can uh, contact big companies <coughs> like Godrej to outsource. OEM supplier. Mm -hmm. OEM to Godrej. <coughs> or Joburg or Franchisee. And other two big brands that were available. Yeah, Godrej and others. What else? Uh, he could go for dealer development. Uh, with the plant and machinery he has invested. Even though if he may not finish it as a uh, job, uh, as a component, but it can be done on job work basis, it will keep rotating stroke by stroke. Okay. You know what is his problem, you know? He wanted his brand to succeed actually. So becoming an OEM... And you can go for dealer development as well, right? So becoming an OEM to others is not... He cannot digest that. Yeah, that his, 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 he, his Almira will not have his brand. This is the mindset. Job work, again same problem. B2B again, his brand, no. So these are the mindsets which hamper the business actually. So you should know whether you are in the business of business or you are in the business of producing something. So there you have to understand, you know. I, I asked few, you know, few engineering graduates asked a uh, successful entrepreneur that what sh we want to be an entrepreneur, what should we do? He told them, forget engineering. Be a business person. Business man is a different cup of tea than a good engineer actually. There has to be some difference. You can be an excellent engineer, excellent producer of a technology. But doing business, you have to have some understanding or some connecting to consumer in some way rather than focused on your product. So this is a very typical case, you know. You know, he is now addicted to his brand, his production, his features, his quality. These things hamper all his actions, all his decisions. So he can be very, he can be good OEM to Godrej and others, not a problem, but he will never, his mindset, direct to he can sell to industries, offices. So issue, not a problem. He can even rent his premises, make some money. So, but he has a certain mindset with which he is not able to do that. Sir, in this period, uh, some government uh, schemes were available for small scale industries like SSIDC, Small Scale Industries Development Corporation. They were supporting small scale industries in terms of raw material supplies and purchasing raw materials from this or finished goods from this. Uh, that uh, could be a better possibility. Another thing uh, like uh, uh, I said earlier and also Mr. Gulkar suggested <coughs> that he could uh, sell off his product on installment basis with the help of bank because the uh, uh, major stake was from bank, finance was from bank. And the another thing uh, as his mindset is to establish his own brand. So uh, he can uh, design a good scheme means uh, as uh, given in the narrated in the story, the major cost is the transportation cost. If one Almira is to be transported to the city, then it is 100 rupees. And for six Almiras, it is about 150 rupees. So you can give better scheme to the uh, distributors that they can purchase the material or the finished goods from his factory at his ex factory basis that they will, they can manage transportation of their own and on down payment basis. Yeah, yeah. Okay, they can sell up whatever margin they want. They can give discounts, they can uh, take more profits because as a manufacturer, my customer is a distributor, not the end consumer. Both. Yeah. See, you both. Know, both, both they are. That you is a challenge. Actually, I that think. is a challenge to a manufacturer. Yeah. That your customer, the channel member is your customer as well as the end consumer is your customer. Also customer. When, we talk, when we are talking about brands, both. of course it is there. So you have to build brand to both. Both. Right. You have but to enhance the image of your product in the eyes of retailer and distributor, the channel right. member, as well as end customer. In, D, in B2B, you have so many people making decision, the consultant also, the others also. So you have to build brand in, in the eyes of all uh, people. Right. So that is a challenge. And uh, also as a manufacturer, we should uh, use the selling concept also to boost the, the sales. See, selling concept doesn't mean, see selling concept is, don't say selling concept. He use, you can say he should use a good sales force to sell. Not concept. Concept is different. Concept is a but mindset. He can use two, three concepts all together. No, it is not no, no. like that. He should. Always he cannot always use two, two, three concepts. He is already on a product concept. He is focused. 
but the thing is he should use a marketing concept rather than uh, any other concept that is uh, what is being stressed here and also uh, for marketing such as products you can use you can uh, take uh, help of product mix or you can use schemes he can see first thing he he, he did not build good relation with the channel members so marketing says four p's you know the product price promotion and place place is the most one of the most important p's place means your channel the retailer or distributor so marketing that that is managed by marketing or sales people so if you don't maintain good relationship with sales people uh, with the market uh, with the channel members you cannot sell so you have to maintain relationship with the channel member if there is one so pricing has to be as per the product quality and the segment you are targeting and the brand value you command brand value he is not commanding any brand value because he is new to the industry so he cannot command very high brand value making a good product and commanding brand value are entirely two different things you can make excellent product but do you think uh, the customer also thinks in the same way you think there comes a uh, challenge of communicating the value he can build excellent website with user friendly features target but if he is not able to promote his website to doctors or pharmaceutical industry to others it means nothing building excellent website on a good platform means nothing actually so he has to communicate the value to all the stakeholders are in the process all the people who will use it all the people who will give him revenue so that is a challenge how do you do that how do you build that that is operational efficiency you are now here i I'll, i'll just like to highlight what is a brand brand is not lux brand built by 500 crores of advertisement only brand is anything any product which has certain associations and certain benefits is a brand basmati rice is a brand or kohinoor basmati rice is a brand or india gate basmati is a brand india gate basmati rice is a brand basmati rice is also a brand only generic product is rice because when i say basmati rice i i attach certain values with that rice of some quality some aroma some size of grains so a brand is already built when i say basmati rice so even though if i say india gate basmati rice that is also a brand but at a different level so you a simple small scale manufacturer has to add brand values the small small things will add value actually any brand has benefits and associations if i say lux brand what do what lux stands for what are the benefits what is so great about lux soap it is used by film star it is used by film star no. he is absolutely right no. you know such a strong association lux has with film stars you cannot negate that by means of powerful advertisement yes they have created strong associations you cannot a small businessman cannot but i'm just saying that is the association you can create with advertisement not everywhere you can create one more report so uh, is see i am not going to this. there see all these asian paints bajaj and all these they are very powerful players powerful brands but how a small scale player can build a brand that is a challenge actually then you have to understand what is the brand. brand has this association and benefits and small small things like word of mouth positive word of mouth references can build your brand it is not only advertisement you need even if he he knows that it is you by film stars he will never buy like so that is a drawback also 
but brand is built over a period of time brand means trust so that trust you can you can build up without advertisement also brand means trust so that you can you have to build up that is built by reference word of mouth and that builds over a period of time so the challenge for you or for everybody is to build good brands and understand the associations just think of any you know tata what what tata stands for trust you have trust trust is the biggest thing which is associated with the brand trust in some conformance to quality that is important tata stands for value for money you know conformance to some quality and trust key features do do you think these features can be built with ad only or without ad only you know this is actually myth that brands are built by advertisement only nirma and ghadi you know they were all started as a wholesale retailer brand this uh, custom guys started on a cycle without no advertisement for years actually so there the challenge is you know now those times were relatively easy there were not many brands who were crowding the market now there are many brands in similar areas now the next stage challenge is how to differentiate that is again a challenge the challenge of differentiation when i talk of building a brand i talk of differentiating your brand your product from a competitors product the challenge of differentiation that is a, a one of the biggest challenge i i'll take this in detail tomorrow that challenge of differentiation that is the biggest thing a brand and differentiation i i i just i'll show you a few advertisements actually i missed on when i talked of segmentation targeting i missed on positioning how to brands position themselves and why brand positioning is a positioning of brand in the minds of consumer now don't think i am talking of consumer and big brands you can do it for individuals also big companies do it by advertisement and promotion small companies do it by now how eureka foods were built there was no advertisement it was built by the sales force only companies position their brands through promotion through advertisement or other means just to occupy a distinct space in the mind of consumer it's all mind game and that mind game trans is transferred into profits it is converted into profits today the valuation of coca cola is how many billions of dollar just brand if you put brand on sale people are ready to pay around 60 billion dollar 80 billion dollar just for name coca cola and it is not only advertisement coca cola in us stands for many values actually so similarly there are many other brands which have been built not only by advertisement by word of mouth and other means and they build on but let us see the lesson out of it that you can build the tools can be different but the concept remains same segmentation targeting a position tools can be different budgets can be different but the concept is the time proof you know ligation points it's really idea is to capture mind of the target consumer either you consume by this or by the other ways by good salesman good sales talk or influencing the right customer the theory remains same yeah any question in this thing we are not covering word of mouth uh, marketing yeah. actually in if you in a brand for a small entrepreneur or anybody 
in fact the more trend is towards word of mouth marketing yes. with web 0.20 and social networking point 2.0 uh, if that is the situation don't you see this kind of <laughs> method will not have a direct impact on word of mouth marketing because word of mouth marketing only spreads after the experience of the product is there right. and how do i influence word of mouth marketing no uh, you are absolutely right and word of mouth marketing is much more effective also these advertisements have huge budgets and it has been seen the relative effect the efficiency is not that high I means you spend 300 crores and the desirable you don't get the desirable results so you are moving towards other means other tools of marketing like word of mouth marketing and that is very powerful you know like uh, nowadays how do you market movies you try to influence some of the uh, you know uh, critics you try to influence some of the people in us the blogs are very popular you know before you go and watch movie you read blogs similarly here you try to uh, the job of a marketer is to influence a key opinion holder in that area who you have to identify who is a key opinion holder or holders whose opinion is revered in a given area you see automobile industry automobile industry also now works on these other than these ads they try to influence the magazines car and bike and other magazine uh, programs and other road shows so that the key anal, uh, you know people who anal, you who compare different vehicles and form opinions and many people just follow them who are the key opinion holders if you are able to influence that key, like i said you want to sell a security system you go and sell to a top jeweler in a given area he holds a key opinion in that area others will follow that will easily you can easily influence the word of mouth from that you saying in every industry irrespective of the size hmm. there will be a key opinion holder there are in there every industry it, it yeah. has to be there it's it, like a yes rule. yes yes absolutely textile industry i remember if you go to chandigarh punjab vardhman is a very you know powerful opinion holder what textile machinery vardhman will buy small scale and others will follow him what vardhman will purchase others will follow similarly what lnt will do others will follow so these every industry they are key you just have to find out who are they and how so and how do you create that reference where there you have to see the credibility of word of mouth that is why what i am stressing actually not word of mouth from everywhere but it's a credible i say opinion holders word of mouth it will help and now sms how effective it will be because you build a trust on word of mouth when you know the source the source is credible now when an entrepreneur is being operating in a small scale area around him making him his own thing successful in a closed circuit area this sms short messaging services can help strategize his own businesses over the place we have some success stories being related to this that is why i okay question so yeah, why not you, if you if it is there you can even narrate the story in fact uh, some of the informations which can be used by the farmers where a particular product of say controlling a pest and a disease okay. is being relayed on their mobiles so they try to use it and it reaches the exact consumer where that particular database is being used by most of the industries nowadays in the rural advertising setup this particular thing is being used by most of the commoner consumer industries of the pesticide origin of the agri input businesses okay and uh, mobiles are the only things which in 
global scenario which is which which will now pave the growth in the rural only right. mobile connections sure so can that not be advertisement strategy for an entrepreneur who wants to reach such masses yeah, why not see is, isn't this more of a information dissemination than trying to promote something you are giving some valuable information which the consumer is able to use it is not actually creating a word or brand value for you in that mode yes it yeah. indirectly it it probably basically, would but not as a direct means it is not creating a brand value for you no basically this information to reach a particular consumer has got a value from consumer's point of view but it has got a cost also who is going to bear the cost to make an sms it is a cost if it is useful to me then only somebody is paying it if someone wants to reach at a large that consumer a base say for example a new fungicide wants to be reaching a rural consumer base of 50000 agri farmers that particular strategy can be used by a company who is manufacturing that this is more of database marketing right you have a data of 50000 farmers and you are able to do a target audience and you are able to disseminate an information but what we were discussing was yeah. how do i use a reference points as my brand building exercise right, right. i just want to interrupt uh, sorry to say i am in the mobile advertising division and uh, i have the privilege of uh, doing that and uh, i've been doing that for the last one year and we doing lot of these things and uh, one of the great things about sms is actually for a small entrepreneur you're absolutely right in terms of uh, reaching the right person it's the most effective means of uh, doing it at the cost uh, being as as low as 2000 rupees you can actually reach and make a profit of 5 to 10 lakhs for an entrepreneur that's like a golden opportunity to start with but in terms of brand building once those customers uh, come back to you with that when you have testimonials see it's a good tool to start your brand building exercise but in itself it's not a brand building it's a, it's a like you know it propel your brand building exercise because you reach your target audience faster you get to your customers back and you take testimonials from them and then you take the testimonial and you you form a word of mouth opinion and you disseminate through the key opinion holders that would be a really effective way of uh, so all, all this is uh, rewarding in terms of brand building only yeah it will be a tool which will reward brand building but it itself it's not a brand building exercise it will it will accelerate branding building exercise uh, the process of brand building yeah in a way what he is saying is it's prospecting we call it customer prospecting but what his experience is, he says that's great you are also referring to see every everything what you said what he said both lead to brand building brands are built by these things only you know for example prospecting the objective is prospecting not brand building probably in your case the objective is information dissemination not brand building one tool can be used for many things actually yeah. sms a as a tool is an enabler for something so you have to see how you can use it how you can build it and many applications can lead to brand building you know but here we are discussing slightly different topic like he said we are discussing how you can use a tool to build a brand anything else the companies can uh, distribute some of the gift items or calendars and they should fit their slogan into mouth of each and every individual the general mindset of the customer is that a good brand must have some slogan or some brand like raymond the complete man since 1925 okay. likewise so such type of slogans or any words they has to fit in the customers by the means of uh, gifts or calendars or diaries like that that is the another way yeah. to create a brand yeah these are promotional tools promotional basically. tools now why diary because it remains with that customer for full year you know now 
these things sometimes dil are diluted because a customer has so many diaries he gives to others. He doesn't keep. So we have to see the relative effectiveness of the tools. So when I because I focus on small scale business, how to best utilize your marketing effort, you have to see basically. If it is diary calendar, you have to see what is the effectiveness of the tool. That is very essential actually. Even it can be SMS, it can be diary calendar, it can be anything or influencing your opinion holder in a region, in an area and doing things. So you have to marketing budget like I will take up this issue like I have in mind what should be the marketing budget for your enterprise and where should you spend. They are very key questions actually. We can discuss tomorrow on uh, this. So brand differentiation and marketing expenditure we will take up tomorrow and uh, discuss this. Now that is there is no one rule of thumb. There are many rules of thumb we have to see which one fits better. Right? Yeah.